Do you have a Nintendo Switch 2 and would you like to start recording your gameplay? In today's video, I'll show you how. How's it going you wonderful people, it's Jay and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up OBS and your capture card to record your gameplay videos. If you're looking for a streaming setup video, I've got a separate video for that in the pins comment below. Let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be using the Elgato 4K X, which allows you to capture gameplay footage up to 4K. It's simple, easy to use and plug and play. Other capture cards, of course, are available and the steps will be pretty much similar to today's video. So to connect your capture card, make sure your switch or switch 2 is in the dock. And please note this method is not compatible with the switch light. Then connect your HDMI cable from the dock to the input HDMI socket in your capture card. Then connect your USB cable from the capture card to your PC or laptop. Make sure that you connect your card to a USB 3 port or USB C depending on your card and setup. USB 3 are often but not always blue and they usually have a little SS symbol next to them. If your card has an output HDMI socket, you can optionally connect your HDMI cable from the capture card to your TV or your second screen to watch your gameplay. I always recommend doing this because it can be a little input delay when watching your game directly on your computer. If you don't have a capture card with an HDMI output, you can use an optional HDMI splitter with mirror mode to connect to your TV or your second screen. You can find a full video on this in the pinned comment below. Now that you've connected your capture card, you'll need to download a free program called OBS. A link to the download is in the pinned comment below. Download and install the version that you need, Windows, Mac or Linux. Once installed, when you open OBS, you should get something that looks a little bit like this. In OBS, you have sources. So sources are things like your capture card, microphone and webcam. You also have scenes. These are a collection of sources. So maybe your intro, your outro, be right back scene. You've also got an audio mixer, so you can adjust the volume of your different audio sources. And finally, controls, where you can start and stop streaming by just clicking a button. Now, before adding your capture card, we'll need to adjust a few settings. So click on File, Settings, and then Video. This is where we'll define the size of our window. If you are recording in 4K, change this to 3840 by 2160. If you're recording in 1080p, just leave this as 1920 by 1080. For portrait videos like TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts, type 1080 by 1920. And for output or scaled resolution, this is the resolution of your recording or your stream. If you're not streaming and you're just recording your gameplay, you can leave this as the maximum value. And finally, you need to set the FPS value. By default, it's 30. I would recommend pushing this up to 60 if your games support it. Next, go to the output settings and then change the output mode at the top to advanced. Then click on recording. You can set recording path, so this is where your videos will be saved. It could be any folder that you like. And then for the recording format, leave this as MKV. So MKV is the ideal format. If your OBS or PC crashes, you can easily recover the footage so i would always highly recommend mkv for video encoder this will really differ depending on your setup i recommend something like hevc alternatively if that's not available you can select x264 in this video i'm going to go through both sets of settings first we'll start with the hevc settings so if you scroll down change the rate control to constant qp then on the constant QP, this value should be between 15 and 20. 15 is better quality, so you do try different ones out. Then keyframe interval set to two seconds. Preset here set to P5 or P6. You can try P7, but I would recommend starting at P5 first and gradually increasing this. Tuning leave as high quality. Multipass, I would recommend full resolution here. So if you are having problems recording, then I will drop this down to quarter resolution. For profile, you can select main. For look ahead, leave this as ticked, but you can untick it if you are having issues with your recording. If you are using the X264 settings instead, it'll be slightly different. Change the rate control here to CRF. And for the CRF value, you would target between 18 or 20. Lower is better, but I would start with something 
in the middle, so maybe 19. Interval set to two seconds. The CPU you should set to very fast. The profile, set this to high. And for tune, leave it as none. Next, let's quickly configure the audio settings. Select audio, and then under global audio devices, make sure all of these options are set to disabled. Best to add your microphone and audio as separate sources. So these should all be disabled. Then scroll down to advanced and where it says monitoring device, set this to the device you want to listen to your audio. This could be your headphones or it could be your speakers. So I'm just gonna set it to my speakers. Now let's add your capture card. Click on the plus button under sources and then video capture device. Name it whatever you like, then hit okay. Then under device, select your card. Usually it'll be called USB video device, but it could be named differently depending on your card. And of course, all the options here would be different depending on your setup. So I'm gonna select USB video, then scroll down and where it says resolution FPS type, change this from default device to custom. You can select the resolution that you want. I'm gonna select 4K, which is 3840 by 2160, but you can go lower depending on your setup. For FPS, you can leave this as match output FPS depending on the game that you're playing. And then the other settings, just leave them as they are. Then hit OK. If you then switch on your console, you should see the gameplay on your screen. If not, here are some quick possible fixes. Another setting check is your camera settings in Windows. Click on Start and search for Settings. Then search for Camera and select Choose which apps can access your camera. Then scroll down and make sure Allow Desktop Apps to Access Your Camera is selected and OBS is in the list. If no luck, it's best to reach out to your capture card manufacturer and see what they recommend. Now that the gameplay video is working, the next thing to do is to capture the gameplay audio. To do this in the audio mixer panel, right click your capture card and click advanced audio properties. Then under audio monitoring, change this to monitor and output. This will output the sound to your monitoring device like your headphones or your speakers. And in addition to your recording or your stream. To add a webcam, click on the plus button in the sources panel and click video capture device. Give it a name and select your camera from the drop down and hit OK. To add a microphone, click on the plus button in the sources panel and click audio input capture. Give it a name, select your microphone from the list, hit OK, and you should see the colored bars move in OBS. To add a screen share, for example, if you want to share a browser window or maybe a PC game, click on the plus button in the sources panel and click either display capture or window capture or game capture, depending on what you want to share. One thing you'd also want to do is adjust different audio volumes. To do this, go into the audio mixer and then just drag the different volume levels. We probably need to test this a good few times to make sure the balance is just right. Next, to record your gameplay, all you need to do is click on Start Recording in the Controls panel and then Stop Recording when you're done. You'll also need to convert your recordings into MP4 if you want to edit them or share them. You can do this in OBS. All you need to do is click on File and then Remix Recordings. Select the video that you'd like to convert and then it will show you the converted file and all you need to do is hit Remix takes a few minutes depending on how long your video is and then you're done you've got a fully working mp4 recording that you can chuck in your favorite video editor you can share online and there we go a quick and easy way to start recording your gameplay and of course a big shout out to elgato for providing this awesome capture card for this video if you'd like to grab a capture card or any of the elgato accessories be sure to check out the elgato website links are in the pinned comment below and of course, if you've got any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. I'll try my best to help you out. There's also a shared playlist with all sorts of different streaming and recording tips and tricks in the pinned comment below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, more gaming, more Nintendo videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And before you move on to the next video, be sure to check out our exclusive merch. Geeky and Gaming Design is voted for by you. Links are in the pinned comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your recordings go well and I'll see you in the next video.